Hello everybody, this is Jim and today on Educator.com Lessons on HTML5 we're going to go over forms, one of the more important aspects of web design and definitely a joining of the front-end programmer to the back-end programmer. So let's go ahead and dive right in and discuss what we're going to be talking about today. First of all, we're going to go over the purpose of a form okay the different input types and the different attributes okay so pretty much the norm has other lessons so let's just dive right in and talk about the different purposes of a form and here they are so listed over here on the different bullet points a form is basically where people enter their names emails phone numbers address their username passwords so they can log into Facebook and Twitter and have all sorts of uh, information that uh, that is needed for whatever purpose that could be so the first and foremost important reason is to collect data and for data storage the other thing of course is t for audience building you know with the social networks they do that quite well the other thing for a form is to do important calculations okay and surveys is one of them and I'll just go ahead and check calculations because survey is a form of calculation whereby a programmer, whereby a front-end programmer, an HTML5 developer, would create the form. A back-end developer, someone who understands PHP or ASP, would create a calculator that would add functionality to the form. So in this case of a survey, we would tally up different votes, different ideas, things of that nature. And last, certainly not least, is the search and queries. So that is a form. It requires form elements. Let's go ahead and talk about these elements. All right, here we are. So the we're going to backtrack a little bit. And obviously, I have the input tag over here. Not, that is an extremely important, uh, that is one of the main uh, tags there are. In fact, most of the uh, elements of a form has to do with input. Okay, But before that, we have the form tag. 